Yeah. Okay. So for this one, we're going to look at utilizing a descender to climb up a set of ropes, and we're going to use a chest descender to down climb a set of ropes. Okay. So the opposite of what we looked at for our previous one. Um, so getting connected or attached to the ropes, nothing changes. We're going to put the backup on first, ASAP lock. I won't go into the full details of this one this time, okay, but that's on arrow pointing up, lock switch engaged. That's our backup line done. Threading the rope into the descender, opened it, hold it out nice and flat, identify the diagrams in there, make sure I'm threading the uh, rope in according to those, snap that closed, ensure it's locked into place, and we'll tighten that up uh, again as well. Finally, we're still going to make use of the hand jammer and the foot loop, just to make this whole process a little bit less uh, grunt work. Okay, so that's everything attached. We'll do a final check and verify. Yes, backup's on that rope, descender's on the working line. Hand jammer with a foot loop in place, ready to go. Now, emphasis here is being smooth and steady with your motions and with your movement. If you try and jump or throw yourself up and make your motions uh, really uh, jerky, it's just going to be a lot more difficult than it really needs to be. Okay, so tighten that up initially. So I've got some weight on the rope through the descender, and all I'm really doing is that as I stand up in my foot loop, I'm going to hang on to the tail of the rope here, and all I'm going to do is drive the tail up as I stand up as well. Okay, and again, it's just a small movement, it's a smooth movement, just to ensure that that rope travels through. Okay, so I've repositioned the backup device, hand jam is up nice and high, still hanging on to the tail end of the rope, and we just slide that through nice and easy as we go. Okay, still hanging on to the rope, back up high, hand jam are high, stand up pull the rope through at the same time. Okay. Just like so. Okay. And again, it's just repeating those steps until we get, we get to where we need to go. Okay. Now, the next part that we'll look at is coming down the ropes, utilizing the chest ascender or the crawl there. Okay, all right, so I've gone up as far as I want to on my descender. What I'm going to do now is uh, change over to my chest descender in order to down climb with that. So, making sure that my backup is high, my hand jammer is high, I'm going to pre open my chest descender ready to go. Basically, what I need to do is stand up in my foot loop, get myself up nice and high so that I can put the rope above my descender into the chest ascender and then I can sit down on that. Okay, as soon as I'm sitting in place on that, then I can go ahead and remove the rope from my descender, make sure that's closed, we'll leave that out of the way now. Okay, uh, over to my backup or my uh, device, we'll unlock that so that's got free travel on the way down now. This time I'm going to leave my hand jammer foot loop in place. But one thing I do want to do, just to make this a little bit easier, is actually pop the, my working line across to my left hand side. And all I'm doing is just bending the rope away from the little cam in there so it doesn't bite as much onto the teeth. Theoretically, it just makes it a little bit easier to down climb there. And essentially what I need to do is stand up in my foot loop and at the same time I'm actually going to push over the top of the cam in the chest ascender just to loosen it enough for it to slide down the rope a little bit. So that pretty much looks something like up, pressing down, sliding down a few centimetres. I will stop, sit down and reposition my hand jammer so I can continue that process. So up, slide down a few centimetres, okay. 
okay? And again, all the movements are quite small and quite compact. I'm not trying to overreach or overextend and take massive movements at any point doing this. Okay. That is it.